Good morning, it's Wednesday the 22nd of November. Today we're going to be focusing on US interest rates and the latest minutes that came out from the Federal Reserve yesterday and what clues there are for investors. The month of November has been a very strong month uh, for global equities and global bonds. And that's on the basis that investors have become increasingly confident that central bankers around the world have finished their interest rate hiking cycles. And that's because we've made great progress on inflation. When we look at US inflation, it has peaked last year at 9.1%. In its latest report, it's down at 3.2%. So getting closer to that 2% target, and that's encouraging for investors and global central bankers. The minutes released yesterday from the US Federal Reserve reflected their assessment of the US economy and investors really looking for clues on what's the trajectory of interest rates going forward. The minutes showed that there was still some concerns around the inflation pressures within the system and that it was still too early to suggest that inflation would be sustainably getting to the 2% target. So the US central bank remains data dependent and is looking for more evidence to suggest inflation will fall further. They'll be looking at the employment reports coming up in the, in, in the future weeks and also looking at the data on the consumer and on the business and their assessment of overall demand. Officials stress that policy or interest rates need to remain restrictive for the time being and that they would tighten or raise interest rates further if necessary, if inflation remained higher or started to re-accelerate. They still need to see significant deterioration uh, within the employment market and further see inflation trend lower, and that the chair of the Federal Reserve, Jay Powell, is still not thinking, or its members, of interest rate cuts. Now, that's very different to what the market's expecting. Market's expecting next year for interest rates to be cut by 1% starting in May next year. So how did the market take all this? Well, it was fairly muted, really. There was not too many surprises in the minutes. We saw US equities slightly weaker and the dollar slightly stronger. In terms of looking forward to today, what will be in focus will be the autumn budget statement from the UK Chancellor. Over the last few days, there's been some leaks that uh, there could be some changes to taxes for both businesses and individuals. Uh, and this it won't be surprising given that there's a UK election in just over 12 months' time and it's always that tax changes and it can be used as a political tool heading into election. We'll keep you up to date with that, so stay tuned tomorrow and that's all from us today.